I'm all about efficiency when it comes to video editing, you know, getting things done the quickest amount of time, the highest quality possible. So how can mouse shortcuts speed up your video editing workflow? Let's find out. Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. My name is Camilo. Today we're gonna to talk about the video editing shortcuts that I have assigned to my mouse. I'm a huge shortcuts nerd. I love knowing the best shortcuts to use and having the shortcuts that are assigned to your own custom workflow will speed up your editing and reduce the time it takes for you to finish an edit tenfold. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the ones that I use for this mouse. And I'm using the Logitech M705 mouse. This is quite a budget-friendly mouse for the price. It's also very comfortable. Thumb buttons. So most mice that are one level up from your basic desktop starter pack have these two buttons on the side. Used for when you're browsing to go backwards and forwards on the tabs that you've surfed and also on your Windows Explorer. But I've assigned these to two very important keys in Premiere Pro. The first is the nesting key, which is basically making a clip out of different clips that are beneath it. And you can layer on effects. This saves me from having to right click, click on nest and then click OK. I just press this button and I press click and then that's it. The second key, the one down, I've assigned to the delete key. This is because most keyboards have the delete key on the far right side of your keyboard, which means that it's on the same side as your mouse. So say you want to delete things quickly, uh, instead of having to click and delete, click and delete and move your hand around, you can just click and then press the side button and you can do this much quicker without having to move your hand from its current position on the keyboard. You can also play things back as you're doing it. So you're kind of doing two things at the same time. It also saves you from having to crisscross your hands so, so the middle button, I actually programmed to be my slice button or split or add edit button. So natively to Premiere Pro, you have to do, I think, Control Shift K or something like that to just cut a clip. I assigned it to S on my keyboard, but then I just assigned it to the middle button on my mouse, which makes it easier for me when I want to just cut clips very quickly. I can just aim and slice, aim and cut, no problem. These horizontal scroll wheel buttons are quite unique to some mice like this one. And uh, they're very useful for just going left and right in documents. But I've actually programmed each of these to be the J and K keys on the keyboard, which makes them the speed up and the rewind commands. Uh, this is very useful when you're sifting through clips and you want to play things at a faster speed, especially if you're listening to audio like an interview, or if you want to watch your clips and see how things piece together. It also allows you to be able to pause with just the space bar. And if you need to cut something, you can use the Q and W keys. So that's the end of Quick Tip Tuesdays. Hope that was a good tip. It was definitely a quick one. And uh, let me know below if you've incorporated the shortcuts and if it's helped you with your editing workflow. Also let me know if you want to see more videos about how I incorporate shortcuts in my video editing because I'm actually quite obsessed with shortcuts. <laughs> Leave the video a like, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when we make new videos and it also helps us in the algorithm. Yeah I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>